Welcome back to Money Mind. Unlike fundamental analysis, technical analysis takes a totally different approach to stock picking. Now, it relies on past market data, primarily price and volume, to forecast the direction of stock prices. Now, this is mainly done through charts, and Chalking Yut spoke to some chartists to get a better understanding of the methodology of technical analysis. He was a floor trader in the stock broking industry. Now, Wong Korn Hao invests and trades full time from home. He also provides investment training for companies and individuals. For Korn Hao, technical and fundamental analysis have different objectives. When he's trading, he uses only technical analysis. Using charts, it measures the pulse of the market. Now, before something happened. Probably market already knew something, they smelled something, but it's being represented in the charts. So those who can read into it or understand how to read into it, it will have certain benefits. He shares his observation trading the markets with us. Is, let's say there's a good announcement. Right? Now before that announcement being made, price usually will search up a little bit first and followed by the good news and the price will search again Bad news, it is the same as well. Same. Now, let's say in an uptrend, the market is moving up, and then you could see that everything is good news, right? There's no bad news, but suddenly you see the market start to move down. It's telling me something is doing something wrong. But Korn Hao says there are times when he uses both stock picking strategies. For investment, because I need to find value, and also need the precision of timing. I use both technical analysis and fundamental analysis. Volume patterns also tell the trader something. Strong volumes signal that the uptrend or downtrend is intact, while falling volumes signal the trend is generally weakening. But a sharp spike in volume could signal that the trend is about to reverse. Greed and fear can exaggerate market movements up or down. If most investors, they are greedy. So what they perceive as a great opportunity, now, usually they will try to buy as many as they can because of greed. So market when move against them, they will experience a lot of fear and they tend to hope that tomorrow the market will go up. Now, so we keep on hoping and it could trigger margin call. And up to a point they cannot take it anymore, they will just cut loss. And that drive the market to the extreme. And it's all represented in charts. 